Yeah, we already have additional sections in that one. And we started, like, improving it. So why don't we just... Well, now well, let's just get the factory worked out first. Go forth, men, and fear not pain nor death! Creeping around, huh? Creeping around? God, I have range and power. I'm in my comfort zone again. Whoa. That's what it was. It was a grenade from the giant twat. See, at least he's only got that trick. He can't do that stupid jump lunge bullshit. <laughs> tower here. I'm going to use it. Don't mind me. All along the watchtower, princes kept the view while all the women came and went, effort servants too. Outside in the cold distance, a wildcat did growl. Two riders were approaching, and the wind began to howl. Yeah! Look, you can't put me in a watchtower and expect me not to Jimi Hendrix. Granted, <laughs> admittedly, the first time I heard that song was in Battlestar Galactica. Obviously the newer one. God, that was just a good series. It was a good show. A great acting, good writing. It did start to taper off towards the end, but at least they realized that they should probably end it while the... The going was good before they fucking like ran it into the ground in some shameless cash grab. Which happens to a lot of shows, unfortunately. We got a nice four season arc. Babylon 5 got five seasons. I don't understand why so many people hate on Bab 5. Babylon 5 was another piece of great television. But again, people hate on Stargate SG-1. Maybe my tastes are just weird? I don't know. That first area is starting to get popular. Well, that's right. We got some ranges now. We might want to make that tower less... At We've already done that. WIN! All right! It's not like I'm complaining. So yeah, we're just gonna let that, like, shake and bake for a minute, let the threat naturally decrease on its own until it's less than the- until when we put the final, like, extension on the factory, that it's not gonna, like, climb up again. <laughs> That's what we're going for here. Actually, I could put in additional sections immediately. God, that cost me a captain, too? Fuck's sakes. <laughs> that's... That's a pricey meatball is what that is. <coughs> oh, we actually did get two power upgrades in there. God, day 170. <laughs> 
Haven't even, like, done Final Zone. Probably not going to until Central is, like, finished. Haven't even found the factory here. Oh, well, okay, so, the decision. Decision time. I just realized that I title dropped. God damn it. Decision time. Do I better gun? Or do I save money for better tower? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna split the difference. We're gonna go 30k into better gun, and we're gonna go, and then we're gonna just use the rest of the tower. So, what do we want to ramp up here? Berserk. <laughs> Started working on the RPG, and then it got too expensive. Gonna get me down to 30 in and of itself, isn't it? Yep. Well, now we got the maxed out rocket launcher. The machine gun shall be next. The mines, sadly, uh, it's basically run its course. I mean, sure, I still have the final area to, like, lock that down. And technically, they could have been useful capturing the factory that we have coming up. But, yeah, no, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Um, God, this isn't producing... Well, let's capture the factory. Oh, hang on. Equipment. Weapons. Check. Weapons. Check. Those watching this, the the uh, Resident Evil 6 with ZKA is airing at around the same time. I should point out that that was recorded a very long time ago. I was originally waiting for him to upload on his end, but uh, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. Oh! Where, where's my detector? There's my detector. I think I found a meta strategy that could have saved me a lot of heartache in this installment. I should have just prioritized the ever-loving fuck out of the sniper rifle and ignored everything else. Hey, that reminds me of Zomba- Insectinators on the. Can't talk. Okay, I'll get you to join me, but not just yet. I don't want to be dragging you through all of that. What was I even talking about? Oh, yeah, I wanted to get on about the Stinger Missile Launcher, my new. Rocket, buddy, gives me another subject of conversation. Uh, conversation. I'm talking to the... to the YouTubes here. At time of recording, I'm talking to myself! In the era before internet, this type of behavior is what people got committed for. Ow! Oh, the sniper rifle feels good. Things just die now like they're fucking supposed to. <sighs> Jumping across the map to hit me again. We're back to doing that, are we? Ah, oh, more people to recruit later. Yes, rock at your friends. Oh, good 
think I'm wearing heavy armor. He just caught me next to a fucking explosive. Granted, I've been wearing the medium armor for so long, it's probably more durable on account of how much it's been leveled. So the Stinger Missile Launcher, everlastingly depicted improperly. I'm sorry. It has been used in probably every role except for the role it was actually fucking designed for. Most we we have, like, fucking Metal Gear to thank for that. Yes, the FIM-92 Stinger Missile Launcher is a man-pad. You just spawned in! God, the sniper rifle even makes those bastards bearable. So yes, the FIM-92 Stinger is a man-pad. Now, that is not some cheeky pun on a feminine hygiene product. MANPAD is an acronym, because the military just loves its acronyms, for Man Portable Air Defense. It's an anti-aircraft missile launcher that uses passive infrared guidance. Now, that's a lot of fun words. What does it all mean? Well, passive means that it does not emit anything to track its target. Like, a radar-guided missile needs radio radar waves reflected off of the target to detect it. So that can't be passive, or else it doesn't right see the target. Um, so, like, radar guided is usually active or semi-active, but infrared, if you're looking for the smoking hot tail of a jet engine, it's usually pumping out a lot of heat, which means that it's giving off a lot of infrared radiation, so the missile just has to Go just has to pick up what the jet engine is putting out. And that is a pun. Um, I mean, uh, ours are now multi-aspect because they've improved the stinger. So now it also uses some, like, UV uh, cross something. Because I guess jet engines also emit, like, UV light in a specific spectrum. And the presence of that light or absence of... Uh, skylight UV, like during daytime operations from the sun, is used to help. It, it's called like multi-aspect tracking. That's not the important part. The important part is, why do we see Stinger missiles used so often as like shoulder-fired rocket launchers for like anything other than shooting down aircraft? Because here I am, I'm packing a Stinger missile for killing zombies. I mean, I can name a dozen, well, maybe I shouldn't exaggerate, I could probably name about a half a dozen rocket launchers that could do like, a direct impact, non-guided job right off the top of my head. Uh, the Law 72 rocket launcher from, like, Vietnam, the M202 Flash, the... the fucking RPG-7, the RPG... There's a bunch of RPGs, actually, that could fit the bill. The Panzerfaust 3, uh, your generic bazooka. The Super Bazooka. The Matador. The, the arm browse, why does the stinger always find itself in, like, I'm gonna shoot this guy with it, because that's not what it was fucking designed for. <laughs> it's meant for shooting down aircraft. It creates a molten copper ring that is designed to tear into jet engines and ignite fuel reserves, and it's intended for tra- oh, it's just- Metal Gear is mostly responsible for that, I would think, because, like, Metal Gear had the stinger, and it was all, ooh, look, it can, it can track people. It so is not designed for that. Not even designed for usage against tanks. It couldn't penetrate tank armor if it tried. But here's, you know what else it is, I think? It's the name. 
Got a badass name. The Stinger Missile. Sounds like it's gonna put an eye out. I know, I went lazy with the minefield. I got better guns now, it's a bit less necessary. Slightly. That's not good. Oh! Oh, I'd like to not die right now. God, the input got stuck for a second there. Oh, that could have ended in absolute fucking shit. It still could because these fucking dog bitches. Seriously, off the edge of the screen? Did nobody, did nobody think that was a bad idea? I don't know how close I came to death there, but I'd wager it was pretty fucking. Do you guys want to, like, get in the factory or whatever it is you guys are supposed to do? Yeah, because I poisoned an enemy, the fucking input lag had me constantly moving up into this fucking wall. You bring workers two out of three. I thought I already hit. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, where's where's other guy? Yeah, come on. Apparently the factory won't work unless you're in it. Now we do some extra recruiting, like I've been doing for the past hour. Honestly, I think I kept myself entertained going on and on and on about engineering bits and, and weird shit like that. Cause yeah, that was an hour of me... like... fucking rambling. Actually, that was an hour of me rambling both figuratively and literally. Good to see you. Okay, buddy, I want you in the factory so that I can leave and I can get my extra money. Hey, okay, what? Okay, they're bugged. Sure. It's totally normal. Uh, well, at least now we get to open up with a, a nice tower. Double cannons. Cannons are still the best tower defense option. Perfect balance of, like, damage, splash area, and rapidity of fire. They can suppress, they can stun lock, they can scatter, they can do everything you need and more. And that's probably why they're gonna get nerfed, because they're not balanced with the rockets of the machine guns. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, that's why for Final Zone, I just go all cannon. Because if you're gonna go all one type of, like, uh, weapon mount of the turret, the cannon is the way to go. Phones be slipping off my head. Oh, why is that taking so long to like lose threat? Ah, it's supposed to be like, uh, okay. So this is supposed to be rocket, rocket, cannon. Then that's supposed to be cannon, cannon, rocket, and then that's supposed to be just cannon. Cannons reign supreme. Thing is, I, it's a level three upgrade for this one, and I, because this is mutant country, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Even with the upgraded rocket launcher, I would need more armor upgrades. I could probably use more rage upgrade. Fuck, I could probably use the machine gun maxed out before I even think about attempting that. I didn't even upgrade this tower once. Yeah, this is being entirely locked down by the militia. They're, you know, doing a job of it, obviously, but still! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why I couldn't do, like... Wait, why does this have threat? Oh, because I, cause I just captured the factory. That's why it has threat. Oh, uh, so I don't even want to activate Final Zone because we know what's going to happen. Because then I, I get stuck in the sort of routine with this again where I have to, like, find the shelter and then train the thing. So this will just stay gray and unexplored because it we don't have any issue of it getting any more or less threatening while it's gray and unexplored. Make the game's mechanics work for us. Now I just don't know where I want to go from here. There are many possibilities. I think maybe get like level one of this tower put in. Probably be a good idea. I have I've run my soldiers out. I have. Yeah, I know that like one of these reservation camps is just like lousy with soldiers. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just go there. Oh, this one too. Wait, is it, is it like the same? Not quite. Well, I can support an additional a lot of, yeah, let's just let's just get some yeah, we're gonna go to this one because I also want to get like the ranger and the builder. We'll go to that one. You are being recruited, you game. Or conscripted. I'm not entirely sure how that it's working here. Let you game. And huh. good to see you. We are the Commando Elite. Everything else is just a toy. Glad you came. Now that film actually had a bitchin' soundtrack. Glad you came. Good to see you. Hey there. 
Sarge wants you, this army. Their limit as to, like, how many of them can be congregated? Okay, so I was about to say that there's no way that I got, like, ten soldiers. Good to see you. Good to see you. Practically going to clear out this camp. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Can I help you? There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, let's put something with a gun here. <laughs> uh, um, cannon. It's mutants, but it's only the first level of the outpost. So, in theory, it can't be that bad. One would think. Oh, I stand corrected, clearly. There's the big one. Shit, it's an overlord. Contribute to the fight against your brothers. Oh, it's escalating fucking quickly, isn't it? Kill him, kill him, kill him now. Just a vortex of death. <laughs> uh, we we um. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's better. That that's that's nice. I maxed out my my middleweight armor. So wait, I'm getting thirty-five protection out of that. Um, well, I'm getting 67 out of that. That's not not terrible. My health is already maxed out. I'm not going to get any, like, tankier than I already am. But he brings the bow and arrow, the, the gun shield. Why would you even... And whatever that other thing is. Anyway, that's that's enough for now. Oh, that... that... yeah. Yikes!